here at Jobs Expo um, in Dublin, in Crow Park. We're having great fun here today. There's so many jobs on offer here today. It's absolutely amazing. And I know personally I'm learning so much. Now, I'm joined by Declan. Declan is a prison officer. So, Declan, what does being a prison officer entail? Uh, I suppose it's not your ordinary nine to five job. People people might have a certain uh, stereotype or preconception of it that we go in and we, you know, we're roughy tufties or something like that. It's not the case. I think the biggest thing we're looking for, if um, you have good people skills, is really the biggest thing, and that you're good with people, that you're able to talk to people. You don't have to be twenty stone, six foot five for the muscle. Um, some of the best prison officers are the smaller people. You know, females are very good and um, work well with prisoners. That you're able to talk to people, de-escalate them. Um, you know, I take an interest in their lives, find out what's going on with them, so that you can make some sort of change with them and help them to engage with the services and to eventually rehabilitate. Because when they get out, um, the aim is that they don't go on to reoffend, and we end up getting the game, getting them again and again. We have that, that vicious circle that continues on and on. Very good. And is there a type of person that makes a prison officer? Like, do you need to have certain skills? Do you need to have a certain personality? Like. What, if you were given some advice, what would you say you need to have to be a prison officer? Uh, that's a really good question. I suppose they're, you know, the skills are important, but we, we can teach people the skills in the college. So I'm based in the training centre now in the, in the Irish Prison Service College. But if you've got the right attributes coming into the job, it's very easy to teach somebody the skills. So we're looking for people who are really good team players, who are not afraid to mix with people, who, you know, who are out, a bit outgoing, a bit engaging. Um, Teamwork is massively important. People with a high sense of integrity that you you do the right thing even when nobody is watching. Um, that you have a safety focus so that you're safety conscious and because again prisons can be dangerous places. Um, that you're able to support people as well. You know that if, if if needs be you can support people and you can see the potential in people as well, both yourself but especially in the prisoners that you can see potential for them to change. Very good. And what's your typical day? Like what do you do when you go in in the morning? What's the day like? Yeah. So we. Um, Generally, go in for 8 o'clock, day starts at 8 o'clock. We unlock all the prisoners at breakfast shortly after 8 o'clock for breakfast. And prisoners get fed their breakfast, they return to their cells to eat. We go off and have our breakfast then. We come back in probably half past half past 9 or so, unlock all the prisoners again. They go to their uh, work area, so they may go to the workshops, they may go to the gym. Um, a lot of them engaged in the school and involved in education as well. So 12 o'clock then is um, dinner time, prisoners come back get their dinner, they, they eat their dinner in their cells, so they go back to their cells for, to have their dinner. Um, we go for our dinner then, obviously, and 2 o'clock we open them up again, open up the prisoners again, and the same thing again, they go to their area of work or employment or, or gym. That goes until 4 o'clock, so at 4 o'clock they get locked up again. Again, we go for, that happens between 4 and half 4, we go for our tea about 20 past 5, half 5, we come back and lock the prisoners again for the evening air period. Um, and again, it's about an hour and a half out of cell, and they're back in at 7 o'clock. So really, prisoners only out of cell about six hours a day. If you think about it, it's an awful long time. So prisoners are back in their cells at half seven in the evening until 8 o'clock the following morning. It's an awful long time during the day to be to be stuck behind doors. And they have a lot of time to think and internalise and think about, think about things, you know. And for the training, what's training like? Where do you start? Like, do you have to go away to camp for a while, or, or where do you train? Yeah, well, we're not like the army. We don't have to go to camp, but <laughs> but it's a good it's a good question. Um, so the training is it's tw it's in four phases, and phase one is a twelve weeks um, in the Irish Prison Service College. So six of those weeks are in the Irish Prison Service College Training Centre in Port Leash, and the second phase, six weeks of phase one, are in the Irish Prison Service College Training Centre in Dublin, in West Dublin, which is in a prison environment. It's inside uh, the Wakefield Prison Compound, so it gives recruits an idea of what to expect coming through the gates in the morning, locking doors, unlocking doors, having to do all the security stuff. So we're so slowly building them towards that. At the end of the 12 weeks, um, we released them <laughs> into the prisons. So we let them go their own way. They go into the prisons and they work. And that's where the real learning start is on the job learning. We give them a lot of theory and the practical elements of it they apply when they get on the job in the prisons that they go to. Um, they also have the higher certificate in custodial care to complete. It's a level six. Um, Hey, level 6 higher certificates so they do phase 1 with us or uh, stage 1 with us stages 2, 3 and 4 are done in their own time in conjunction with Waterford IT okay. who are our partners on that so it's um, there's a bit there's a bit of theory to it yeah. as well as the practical stuff very good now I've been looking at these buttons if you yeah. just want to pick one up Declan you were saying these are made by prisoners yes uh, one of the officers in Mount Joy Kevin O'Kelly's name 
uh, very generously helped us out, but he got one of the prisoners on board. Stephen helped out with baking the cakes as well. I've yet to try one, um, but I can't imagine at the end of the day there'll be too many left. So. They look really good. So I'm going to go off and enjoy my bun now. And um, if you want to get down to jobsexpo.ie, all you have to do is register online. We're here in Crow Park all day. So come on.